Welcome Modern Tactical Shooting. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of the Zestava M90. This is a 5.56 AK with unique feature that it has adjustable gas built in. I like these guns so much, I actually own two of these M90s. One I shoot in matches and really the other one is a practice gun. I've been running these rifles hard for the last two years. But recently, I would say in the last two months, I've had an issue creep up in both guns. Uh, one more than the other, uh, but I'm going to get into the issue that came about in these guns and the fix for the issue that came up in these M90s. So let me get into it right now. So these M90s, I've had about two years now. My main rifle that I use in matches, this has about 3,000 rounds through it. And the gun that really started to have the issues, which I've already taken apart right here, this has about 5,000 rounds through it. And about two months ago, uh, what was happening is during the firing process, the bolt would basically get stuck in the rear of the gun. So while shooting, I would be shooting, the bolt would get stuck and I would have to hit it forward uh, to get the bolt back into operation. Now, it wasn't catching on the hammer. I have ALG triggers in both these guns and I've smoothed out the hammers. So it wasn't that. If you look at this video right here, I'm basically reproducing it in my little workroom. The bolt goes back and it's getting stuck on something and I'd have to hit it forward. So somewhere inside the gun, these bolt carriers were hanging up uh, more so on the rifle with the 5,000 rounds, but it was starting to happen with this gun at about 3,000 rounds. So while I do know my way around AKs, I wouldn't say I'm an expert on the AK, but the quick fix I did since the carriers are getting stuck in the back of the gun is I purchased AK buffers, these little rubber buffers that go over the recoil spring guide rod to alleviate that issue. And it did solve the issue of the bolt carriers not getting stuck and stuck in the back of the gun. But the issue is, uh, with steel cased ammo, these guns weren't, were not running. I think basically steel cased ammo burns a little bit slower. And with one of these AK recoil buffers, you lose about a half an inch of bolt carrier travel uh, inside the gun. So you lose about a half an inch. So the guns uh, were having problems cycling steel cased ammo. And of course, steel cased ammo by the case is about $100 cheaper. And I'm all about shooting as much ammo as I can. So it was a band-aid approach and I wasn't really addressing the problem of why these guns were having issues and I wanna be able to run steel case. So uh, it was two weeks ago, I cracked these guns open and took a deep look into what's going on. And here's what I found, let me get into it right now. So with close inspection of these rifles, uh, they both have damage to the tail of the bolt carrier, and that's common amongst AKs. This part right here interacts with the hammer, and of course it cocks the hammer inside the gun. So most of your AKs are gonna show some wear and damage right here. I have an Arsenal 107, and it also has similar peening in of the metal right here. But come to find out, uh, this is severe peening in of the metal. If you look at this photo right here, this is a close-up the, of the tail, and you can see the peened in metal has formed basically two little wings, and come to find out, uh, those wings were getting stuck on the inside of the recoil spring guide rod. So let me put this together. Now when this recoils in, the tail actually goes inside this little gap in the recoil spring guide rod, and those little wings of metal were catching and basically holding the bolt carrier back inside the gun. Yes, those two little peened in wings. All right, here is my M90. The bolt is stuck to the rear. I'm gonna reposition the camera. It takes a slap to make it go back. I finally figured out what is causing it. So for that peened in metal that created those little wings, basically it was about 10 seconds on each side with a Dremel to alleviate those wings. And I've made this smooth again. And that solved the issue. Uh, these guns now run smooth. I don't need this AK uh, buffer. So yes, it's the soft metal of the M90 bolt carrier. Now, I don't know if this is systemic to all M90s. Hopefully somebody from Zestava is watching this. I purchased these rifles about seven months apart and they both started to show that issue with, I would say, severe peening in of the metal on the bolt carrier tail. 
And again, the fix is to uh, file that down or dremel it down. Now, over the next 5,000 rounds, can this metal peen in again and make those little hard edged wings to catch on the inside of the recoil spring guide rod? I don't know, perhaps. Usually when metal peens in, it can only peen in so far, and then it gets too hard on itself and it won't peen in anymore. Again, I'm not an expert. I don't foresee these breaking off or becoming so severely damaged don't work, won't work anymore. But at about 5,000 rounds, I will say I'm a little disappointed that uh, basically some severe damage on here. Now, Zestava does offer full bolt carriers, but only for the M70. They don't currently offer any for the M90. In fact, I don't think Zestava offers any spare parts for the M90, which will be a future issue for M90 owners. If you put high round counts through any firearm, you're going to wear parts out. It's just the natural process of a firearm. Parts wear out, uh, wear out at different round counts. So hopefully, again, somebody at Zestav is watching this and they at least offer some uh, M90 bolt carriers and other parts that owners of the M90 are going to need a few years down the road once these guns start getting a lot of rounds through them. Now, I have a M70 also by Zestava. It's the 7.62 gun. And if you look at this photo right here, this is comparing the tail of the M70 to my Arsenal 107. It looks more severe, but that's just because it's steel and the arsenal is of course black. When you run your fingers across the edges of the tail, they both feel about the same and they're both around the same round count, around, around 2,000 rounds. Now, will the M70 get worse? I don't know, but right now it's comparable to the arsenal and the amount of wear or peening in on the tail uh, when you compare the two. So I think right now the issue may be limited to the M90, but that's the fix really filing this off right here, making it smooth. Now, going forward, how do I feel about my M90s? I still love them. Uh, I run these in matches. It's my secret weapon. These run so smooth. One thing that might help and might prolong uh, getting wear on this tail is maybe running a heavier recoil spring. The recoil spring inside these M90s from Zestav is pretty light. I do have an ALG. Uh, recoil spring in this M90 right here. But with steel cased ammo, you got to turn up the gas. And when you turn up the gas, that increases felt recoil to get it to run. I only use these in matches. These aren't shift guns. These aren't guns for self-defense. I run them in matches, so I want them super smooth. So I only run brass cased ammo in my competition gun. I have an ALG, ALG spring in here now. This gun is on gas setting too, super smooth. Uh, and this rifle right here, this is one I'm mainly running with steel case. It's my practice gun. So I still have the original M90 spring in this gun right here. And again, going forward, am I worried about the damage and it happening again? Well, if it happens another 5,000 rounds down the road, again, I'm just going to refile it. But that's the problem I identified with my M90s is damage to the tail of the bolt carrier was catching on the inside of the recoil spring guide rod. So if your bolt starts to stick in the gun, then look at this tail, this could be the issue. So that's it, that was the issue with my M90s and my fix again going forward. I still have full confidence in these bad boys that they're gonna run. I'll, you'll be seeing me at the, at the matches with these. And uh, yeah, just keep an eye on your tails. And again, if anybody from Zestava is watching this, Please get some spare parts in for your M90s because these are going to, I'm going to wear out other parts in the long run. Again, I have 5,000 rounds through this rifle right here, and I've got about 3,000 rounds through this one right here, and I intend to keep going until I blow the barrels out. So as always, hope you found this video uh, informative. Now get to the range, get your shoot on. I'm Jeff Gerwich. Thanks for watching. Ah!